Well, watercross is the best just due to uh, ocean racing. Um, a lot of these uh, promoters race on the lakes that are flat and it's kind of follow the leader and, and really boring to me. And uh, you know, the Pro Ski GP class, the reason why we picked it for the last few years is it's the hardest class in the world to race and be competitive, competitive at. So it's like racing 450 dirt bikes. You have to be in shape, you gotta be on top of your game, you have to have the best equipment to make it through the races. So, um, you know, we have factory teams racing against each other. So it's, it's the hardest thing and, and the place to race is Pro Watercross Tour, it's the best one. This is the Pro Watercross National Tour, powered by Broward Motorsports. Welcome back to the Pro Watercross National Tour, powered by Broward Motorsports, here in South Padre Island. Let's take a look at some highlights from Moto2 and Ski GP. There goes Tyron. There is experience. You see Craig Warner dive to the inside. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant move by Warner. Last off the line, and he's gonna roll in there about fourth or fifth. But it's Tyron Matsuras again. <clears throat> boat number two out in front with another hole shot. He is hole shot at each of, each of these starts, and he is flying, picking up right where he left off yesterday on that commander, GP1. He Whoa. is on the gas out in front. I think that was Isaiah Washington. Is that Derek sideways. Powell in second? Derek Powell with yeah. the dead engine start. In Jules Hopkins in third, already. Warner in fourth, Isaiah Washington Oh, and Tyron in goes down. Tyron Matsur is down. Oh, Here no. comes Powell. Look out. Oh, and they and slam Powell holes side by side. side. Fiberglass. And there's, oh, Tyron now with a problem. And there goes Hopkins and Warner. Wow, Derek Warner Powell. Making, I'll tell you what, Greg Warner's come back. He is riding like the man with his hair on fire right now. <laughs> making up ground very quickly on Warner, closing in on the leaders. Powell and Warner, now Warner up side by side next to Powell. Down oh, the back Warner, straight away. Warner drive. goes into the lead. Gets a good drive out of the corner. It's Craig Warner now taking the lead on the factory Kawasaki. And Powell trying to take it back on the outside. Watch these two go side by side into that right-handed yellow. Powell trying to set up and cut underneath them. He does, but doesn't have enough power. Warner, large and in charge now. Far right-hand side of the track. Can't you can't gain experience without racing in these conditions. That's and, it. And these guys have been doing it all season long. Uh, the top racers today are the older guys that have been doing this for a long time. Right, it's TOT, time on track. And, and here comes your there. moto winner on the number two, Factory Kawasaki, Greg Warner. Nice win. Warner's got to be absolutely pumped with this win. He really needed this one coming into today. Now let's check out Moto3. Warner gets a drive. Warner gets a hole shot on the inside. Keep an eye on Powell. Powell got, it, got the jump. Wow, Warner just shot out of there like a cannon. But Derek Powell took right the there? lead. Powell went around him and he is in front. Powell with a great start on that. Uh, oh, Kawasaki, he goes down. Powell bobbles and goes down in front of everybody. 44 hanging on to the lead. Isaiah Washington right behind him. Then it looks like Warner, then probably Mots. Tyron Matsuris in fourth now, comes sweeping around the outside. And he goes by Warner on the inside right there. Wow, Tyron on fire. Oh, man. Down the front straightaway, Isaiah Washington in front of Mots but it's Derek Powell right now out in front. Powell with a great start around that first turn in the lead, and he leads it here, heading on to the back part of the race course here at South Padre Island, third motor for Pro-Amp Ski GP, and the battle is underway. Down the back straightaway, 44 to race leader Powell. Here comes Mott Suris, Mott's charging. Mott's charging by Isaiah Washington wow. to take over second place. Sets his sights on the race leader, Derek Powell. Warner back in fourth. Now, pretty sure Warner has to be in third position to, to uh, get the overall. Mathematically. Nothing assured right now, to say the least, as our leaders oh. come around way the right-hand side of the track. 
Derek Powell out in front on that 44 Kawasaki, followed by Tyron Matsuris on the Commander GP1. Not followed by much, I'll tell you that. Tyron is just yarding down this front and, and straightaway. And here he comes, look at the speed that he has on that Commander GP boat as he swings around the outside of Derek Powell. Now he's on the inside and he does not allow Powell to even think about closing the door as Tyron Matsuris goes into the lead. Yeah, Derek Powell was not gonna block him or try and keep up with him. He knows what the points are. He knows Tyron's out of it. So for him, it's way more important to stay upright and collect maximum points. And frankly, I don't think he had much choice right there. At the halfway point, it is all Tyron Matsuris by himself out in front, boat number 50. Down the back straightaway, just charging around this racetrack here in moto number three. And Tyron just relentless, trying to get by Jules Hopkins here at the finish, and he does. It's Greg inside Warner's of Jules. Right in front of him. And here it comes. Oh, and Tyron slows down, lets Jules go back by. A little commander love right there. And Tyron Matsuris, put your hands together. Outstanding performance here in moto number three for Tyron Matsuris out of Ipanyani, South Africa. Thank you for joining us here at the Pro Watercross National Tour powered by Broward Motorsports. I hope you will join us for the next round in Racing Wisconsin. If you're jonesing for more action-packed racing, check us out on the web at prowatercross.com. For Kurt, Rick, and I'm Jessica Warner, thanks for joining us at the Pro Watercross National Tour powered by Broward Motorsports.